Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well today I'm going to work on this little piece of this tree stub, whatever you want to call it. That's holding up our sign and maybe giving this a little bit more color in here. Okay, let's get back to this. Well, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I did. I had a wonderful weekend. I didn't do any recording or coloring. Did some work with some fabric. Cut out some pieces for a small little Oh, what do I want to call it? It's like a little placemat. It's a kind of an experiment to see how it turns out. I'm interested in making some for my grandchildren for Christmas. Is that close enough for you guys? There, yeah, maybe that'll work better, is it? Does it? Yeah. Now you got a better view. Okay. So I've got some pieces of fabric that I had cut out and got ready. Just two and a, two and a half inch strips making kind of like a little log cabin. It's been great holding a needle and thread. My highs have been must have been bad for a really long time, and because that maybe that was the reason why I wasn't sewing. Oh yeah. Been working away on that. What else have I done this weekend? Not too much. My car is broken. I need a new battery. So later today, need to call and see about getting a new battery and either getting my car boosted and taken to the garage or the mechanic coming here. We'll have to see. Probably just need a boost and then... Uh, drop it off at the garage and pick it up when they call and tell me it's done. But yeah, it's been boosted twice. It's been boosted twice this winter. And when I went out the other day, yeah, it was dead again. So, uh, yeah, the battery's dead. I can no longer be no no longer hold a charge, so time to get a new one. weather's not bad here today. It's not really sunny, but it's not really cloudy. It's kind of in the middle. I was out with Wilson this morning, and I can tell I'm a little bit tense about my car. I was very impatient to get back into the, the apartment. had my meds delivered today so I don't have to go and pick them up. Well, that's kind of fun. Saves me a, a walk today because like I said my car's needs to be fixed. She's broken. seeing some videos of people's finished pages. Lots of beautiful coloring. A 
got some beautiful pages I've been seeing. Watched some last night and just one or two this morning while I was having coffee. Oops, sorry. I don't know. I'm going to ask you guys. What do you think? Should I get a camera for doing these videos or should I just keep using my phone? And if I do get a camera, what kind of camera should I get? Like, I don't have a camera. I use my phone, and the only thing I take pictures of is my grandchildren. So I've never been a picture person. So I don't know. Should I should I get a just a uh, you know a basic model of camera? Is it any better to have a camera than a phone? Like, is there more adjustments and more um, ways of filming? And, like, is there more options with a camera than with a cell phone? I don't know. And I really can't, you know, talk with friends about it because, of course, we, we can't get together, so I can't see what they've got. And they don't do what I do, so, you know. I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think? I don't know, like if I could do more editing with, with just my phone, I mean with my, with a camera and, uh, you know, different backgrounds and filters and lenses and all that stuff, I, I have no idea what that is about, but I can learn, that's one thing, right, I just, I'll just go till I learn it, that's what manuals are for and all that kind of stuff, and just trial and error, and word of mouth, listening to friends and people who are doing the same thing. So if any of you out there have any advice, I'd really appreciate it. Belly too, I could just leave the darn thing up. Because this one, you know, it's my phone, so when I go out, I take my phone with me, of course. So then I have to set it back up again. Sorry about that. Working a little bit out of your range of view there, wasn't I? Starting to get the hang of this. This is a lot of fun coloring with you guys. I like that I can talk to you guys and there's no judgment. We're just all people who like to color or draw, craft, whatever. We all obviously have a similar interest or we wouldn't watch the channel.
Not quite sure what I'll do with the end there. I might color it um, a soft and then a darker gray and then put some of this brown on it. The end of wood when it's rotten, like when it's um, a cut like that, goes quite dark, so we'll see. Wilson's, put, Wilson's pussy putting around. Got his back cut, claws cut this morning. So, either tonight or tomorrow will be the front ones. He's not happy. I accidentally cut one too short and it bled for a little bit. No, I shouldn't say he's not too happy. I mean, you know, at the time it upset him, but... He's over it. It's unfortunate, but sometimes they move. I try to keep my fingernail right there so that I don't go past the fingernail. But sometimes he's a wiggle worm. Yep, sometimes he's a wiggle worm. Got his mustache trimmed today too, and his tail trimmed. Oh, he looks very handsome. There. So some of my um, groups at my mental wellness center, I shared before that we have Zoom calls every day. So some of them now are in the afternoon, and then I think every other day we have one um, at night. So that's going to be nice. They give us a different time, and we still have some in the morning, and... Now we have some different times. It's just more support for us. You know, we can use all the so all the um, support we can get. Everybody, not just people with um, diagnosed illness illnesses. And I think that that is one of the positives that has come out of COVID is that. People are now aware that you don't have to be diagnosed with a mental illness to have um, anxiety and um, mental distress, mental health distress. Oh, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty harsh reality. A lot of people had no idea that, that having something that they had no control over could have such an impact on their lives. You know, most people, not going to say all people, but people uh, maybe who don't have, how do I say that? They may not have as much uh, things to overcome. You know, they've got a job, maybe. they Maybe their partner does, and they've got a couple kids, and they're able to make ends meet. I think most people these days would just love to be able to have ends meet. But yeah, seeing that um, when you have something in your life that you have absolutely no control over, that can quickly de-escalate any, or I should say escalate, pretty much every stress factor you have. I 
mean, we do have some point of control over COVID. You know, we we're responsible for our own protection. Where you know, we wear masks, we stay socially distant, distanced. You know, we don't go into a store if there's a hundred people in there, that kind of thing. So we are responsible that way. That there there are things about it that are beyond our control, and it's. It's very hard to accept. And a lot of people won't accept it. Somebody messaged me that the little bunny, the bunnies, the little bears look like Care Bears. All the colors. And they do, I guess. They're very, very cute. I have a color, I think it's a color by number coming. Something to um, help. Or something I should say, you know, different to color. My eyes are pretty much, I think, back to normal. Or better than normal. I, I, I don't watch uh, the videos, like I said, if I watch anything on YouTube, I make sure I have um, my sunglasses on. And I found my eyes are not burning like they used to, so. So that's good. Looks a bit funny in here, but that's okay. Here I am this morning doing my laundry with my sunglasses on in the laundry room. Security camera must have thought it was, you know, just a little bit out there. Oh, that's okay. Woke up in the middle of the night with my heart just pounding. So um, I, I know what to do. I know how to do the forced calming of my breathing and how to slow everything down. So I was doing that, and then I realized my throat was hurting a little bit. Uh, oh, that's from the other day at Donna's with the cigarette smoke. I took my puffer while I was there and hoped that it wouldn't affect me too much. So I'm hoping uh, that that's it. I won't get anything worse than that. Oh, having COPD, I do have, um, like, well, it's diagnosed and stuff, right? You don't um, get treated for it, you know, unless you have it. It's, it's there. Um, doctors can, you know, can tell by listening to you. And so I have uh, what it's called a... Emergency action plan. So, at, like with my pharmacist and my doctor, I have a script at the pharmacy 
for the prednisone and an antibiotic that I can access without having to call my doctor. Because sometimes it just you just don't have time. You know, it, if it happens on a Saturday night, you don't, by the time Monday morning comes along, it's, it's way, way, way uh, worse. It acts very, very fast. So, with this action plan, it's great. I have um, access to that. If I have more than one breakout or out, um, it's called an exacerbation. If I have more than one exacerbation within the three months, then I have to go to my doctor because they don't want you taking the same antibiotic a couple times in a row. They like to change it every time. Or else you know your body just gets used to it and then it won't work. So I haven't had to use it yet. It's still there, so that's a good thing. That's why I'm one of the ones that has to be very careful. At risk, you know, lung disease. I'm very thankful that I have stuff that um, can keep me occupied and that I'm not, you know, going stir crazy. I'd like to be able to get out more. I'm a social person, but I know that, you know, I can, I'll be fine here. Just do what you need to do and, and you're going to be all right, Pat.
I don't have enough stuff yet to do a haul. I think I've got one book and one other little package, but not quite enough to do a haul video, so maybe by the end of the week I'll have enough stuff. I don't need any pencils or anything like that. I've got lots of pencils. And I'm not going to buy pencils just to try out different brands. I have brands that I like and I don't need anything else. I can only use so many of them at one time, so. And like I've said before, small, small apartment. Just about done this sign and the tree stump whatever we want to call it that's holding it up limb branch I think I'll put a creamy color or something like that in the middle of there so it looks whoops so it looks antique My hand went, uh, <laughs> did a circle and it must have affected my phone. Sorry about that. I'm still laughing about the, <sighs> thinking about that, that's hilarious. Okay. I think that's it for that, for that sign. Yep, so what do I want to work on now? Well, that looks like, oh, this part right here. Okay. This part right here. Okay. Do I have a gray out? No, I do not. I got a gray. This looks like a gray. It might be Payne's gray. I think it is because it's kind of blue. Yes, it's Payne's gray. I don't want Payne's gray. I guess we'll go with a slate gray because at least it's a gray. Is my sniffling. Oh, well, my voice is going too. Damn cigarette smoke. Ugh. Yeah, well. 
I can do about it. Just keep moving forward. Yeah, that kind of makes it look darker than the rest of the dark spots. Yeah, kind of gives it a different hue, I guess, or whatever. Looks different anyway. There, I think that is pretty much that for that sign. Where's my eraser? There it is. 